It's weird that there's like descriptive text for all the save points. At least so far. There was descriptive text for the first save point last time, right? It was like, something's grabbing my brain. Oh, yeah, that was like the first time. You're right. Yeah. You're right. So, but this is twice. Twice, yeah, two in a row. So twice means... Well... Not necessarily in a row. It but wouldn't have to be in a row. If you didn't want it to be. I want it to be. Nice. Yeah. Check all the things. I remember how to play Silent Hill now. Check yeah, all the things. Yeah, you check all the stuff. Check all the things. Oh, we missed a thing. Two things. Go back and check that thing. There's a long hallway, and then, then across from the long hallway is one. Oh. Okay. Great. What's great? Hey, it wasn't a way that I could go. But this one is. Yay! This is the new way. This is the there yo there's monsters music. Yeah. Yo. I was, there's monsters out of Sunshine Princess. Outside of. Is that what it said? Yeah, the, the Helen's, Bakery. Helen's Bakery. Helen's Bakery, Sunshine Princess. Key of Beauty. Boutique Marguerite. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get out. Go. Good thing they are pretty slow. It's not auto targeting. Whoa, that fist, that meat fist turned into like a spike. Oh, I didn't see that. I think so. Did it forget you were there? See, these things are way harder to kill than like a couple shots. Fuck this thing. God. You should try piping them. Stupid jerkhead. I don't have a pipe. You only have a gun? I only have a gun. Pretty sure. That's crazy. I might have a knife. No. Yeah, you have a knife. Uh, oh, okay. Let's knife it for a while. Uh, oh, yeah. I'd well, call that necessity. I have a bullet, so... That's less than one. Oh, and of course, the thing about Silent Hill is that people always get mad about the number of enemies that I kill. They're always like, stop killing all of them. Just run away or something. Oh, yeah, a thing unfolded from his hook. Yeah, I mean, his hand. it totally turned into, like, a spike. All right. Let's try to avoid this guy, I guess, because my knife doesn't seem to be that hard. Natalie, Natalie Shoes. Shoes. Bluebell. Sunshine, Sunshine Princess. Princess. Can we go into Sunshine Princess? Ugh, oh, bullshit. I'm sure that one of them you can go into. Is there a note or something? Oh, you open your map. I thought you were bending over. No. Oh, no, they all look... There's one over here that is locked, but let's go that way. Yeah. It's starting to look like a mall. You were in an area before that. I told you we were in a mall. I mean, no, I knew it was a mall, but it just, see, it was all this stuff, and this doesn't look anything like a mall. Oh, that's where we came from. Well, this is like the back area that we're not supposed to go in. Yeah. Because yeah. we went that way to avoid the detective person. But Heather don't give no shit about rules. Anyway, God damn it. So if you want to talk about, you know, the story so far. The story so far. The story far. so far. Um, she loves, turns out, we were a, We were a girl who woke up possibly on a train or in a Happy Burger. who Or in a Happy Burger or in a train and then went to a Happy Burger. And then a guy was like, I'm a detective. I have details about your birth. And you were like, get bent, shithead. <laughs> and then, and she, went, then we went to a bathroom. So, so she something. had a conversation with her dad, and it kind of seemed like at first that she was in love with her dad, and then oh, the conversation with her dad. Yeah, and, or like, and then sort of the end. It seemed like she just was very attached to him, and then this guy shows up who was like, like I have information about your birth. Well, that's well, so we're, this is I'm, what we know about Heather so far. She loves her dad, she but loves her is dad. very wary of strangers. Where, yes. Because her daddy told her to be that. Characterization. What the fuck? It said one of these was open. What am I missing? Am I being really stupid right now? No. No, you're just... You're just... 
Can you go in there? No. Try killing the monster. Now there's a red line. Okay. You just didn't bump up against it? Yeah. She has really bad vision. I really should have bumped up against it. That's the problem. Go! Oh, he of course. We go in Helen's Bakery. Oh, you Sweet Tooth. Duh. It's bread. Go okay. Not really hungry, so I guess I don't need to worry about it. Okay, <laughs> I was considering. I was considering worrying about this bread. <laughs> Who just left this bread here? Wait a minute, I'm not hungry. Oh, wait, no, but... Is that a health drink? <laughs> ah, it look like health drinks. If there's no health drinks in this game, I'm gonna be very upset. But you can get that key with those tongs. Oh, good thinking. God, I want a slice of bread, like for a really good bakery. Remember uh, when... For for a split second, I thought the tongs were going to be a melee weapon. I was like, <laughs> awesome! <laughs> I'm going to clip you to death. Um, Man, remember Great Harvest would give out yes. bread? Yes. Ugh. And they had like the cinnamon swirl bread that was like a cinnamon roll, but it was a slice of bread. Yeah, and they gave you like, here, wait, here's a free slice of bread. Want to put some honey on it? And then, and you then, do? Of course. And then suddenly they realized like... Oh, this All bread All people want is one slice. This is literally just every single kid from the high school coming here after school and asking for a free slice of our cinnamon swirl bread. Like, I think for a while they started rotating bread, so they didn't always have cinnamon swirl. Yeah. And then they, I think they never had it, and then they were just like, no more free slices, fuck you. Because for a while it was like, yeah, here's five slice, here's five sample bread things. Oh, yeah, then it was like the tiny pieces. Like, we're not going to give you a full piece. Yeah, it's here's like square. a tiny sample, and then... Was the Great Bread Harvest? The name it was of just called Great Harvest. Okay. The I think Great that, Bread Escape. And that place is fucking gone now. Is it gone now? Yeah. Oh, so I the, already have health drinks. So the only thing keeping that store alive was giving away free bread. Yeah, really. It was they. And that. That was the irony. Was that they gave out cinnamon swirl bread all the time and i was like i should really go in there and buy a whole loaf of cinnamon swirl bread and i came really close but never did it but then as soon as they stopped giving it away at all i just never even thought about it huh maybe there's people there's more like there there's people with more get up and where, go where are my tongs at that that um that we're talking about lexington center lexington massachusetts that place is actually has really high turnover for businesses yeah because um they don't allow chains uh, there, they, because they want to keep it like, I don't know, it's like a historical place. They, they want to keep it classy yeah. with, with uh, restaurants like Lex. Yeah, they don't want to have like a McDonald's next to Buckman Tavern or whatever. Uh, but so, like, so what it is, but it's still like a really expensive town, so like the rent for all the shops is like super high, but they don't want a, anything that's like really profitable, so just everybody goes out of business. Is that, uh, is that like a card and game store still there? The what? That there was oh, a card and game um, store. Hit and run, yeah. It was yeah. like a place where you could, for all your Yu-Gi-Oh tournament needs, um, or Pokemon cards, or Dragon Ball Z cards, or Magic, you know, whatever. Um, that place had to leave because they were part of like a a bigger complex, and they decided like we're tearing this thing down and rebuilding it as something else, and so they were forced to leave and. So they're no longer in the center. They're now, like, kind of nearby. And they keep trying to, like, buy places closer. Like, they've moved twice, and each time it's closer, they're, like, trying to get back to the center of town. That's sad. That's kind of funny. Um, oh, hey. I hate those things. Little dinosaurs with their heads cut off. Um, but the thing about... The thing about Lexington and why it's crazy is that... What the fuck? God, we're past that. Yeah. Yeah. What the go. hell? Um, like they want in for the sake of you know the town's reputation as like America started here, yeah. right beneath your goddamn feet. Shot heard around the world. Maybe you've heard of it, motherfucker. Yeah. It, it, but so they're like no change. We don't want a McDonald's. But like, is a McDonald's so much worse than like an antique store called Class, spelt with a K? Yes. Really? It's yeah. called a touch of class. And then class is spelled K-L-A-S-S. -S. Mm. The Arguably the least classy thing you could do. 
But maybe class is like a brand or the name of the person that owns the shop. That's the only excuse if it, it's a, is if it's the name of the person. But there's also like, that restaurant called Lex. That's weird. I hate weird. that shit. Yeah, that's weird. The what? Pax Place, too. The what? I can't tell if you're going to love this or hate this. The place where Lex is used to be a bagel shop called Aesop's Bagel. That's the best! <laughs> that's, 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 see, that's way better. Oh, wow. I got the key with the tongs, and it became like a super item that was called Key with Tongs. <laughs> There's, but the, so, the, the problem with, Le like, I would, not only is Aesop's Bagels a way better name for a store, I would also much rather have a bagel shop Ooh. than a, like, restaurant oh, slash social fuck. club. I really hope that you're able to help me with this. Okay. Because I heard talk of a really hard Shakespeare puzzle near the beginning right. of the game. See, I like Shakespeare, but I've only read a handful of Shakespeare plays and most of the sonnets. Unless... It's, wait, it's Unless just called... it's just one, two, three, four, five, because that would be hilarious. It sounds like it is. Let's examine. Oh, okay. Well, that has nothing to do with Shakespeare at all, I guess. I I, we, maybe just it's... we just probably arrange the books so that the whatever is drawn on their spines. People were people have been talking about this puzzle literally since the like second page of the Silent Hill one thread. I think this is the first one. I'll like the first one, sure. Maybe it's only on a higher difficulty. Oh, okay. Well, that's very convenient. Boom. Eight, seven. Nailing it. I think that's not right. Shit. What? I think you got to switch oh. the... Man, I thought I had it so good. Thought I had it so good. Wait, eight seven nine. That looks eight, right two? to me. Three two. Is that not right? Nah, dog. That was wrong. That shit is <laughs> wrong. <laughs> I think you got to try again. I think you maybe try switching one and two. For me. Wait. I think I think one goes between three and four is what it is. Fuck. That was God damn it. That's wrong. Ah man. Why don't they just have like a selector? Uh, this works well enough. At least it doesn't make you go back to your menu every fucking time and go look, use book three. Yeah. But it's like People were saying that this had you had to have like some intimate knowledge of Shakespeare. Though I, I that might have only been on the hard setting, possibly. Maybe or maybe this isn't what people were talking about. Eight or, three seven nine. Oh shit! What if we have to go somewhere and we enter in eight three seven nine and it brings us to like some puzzle that's actually about Shakespeare? Yeah, well, that would I mean, be insidious. I've read. What have I read? I've read. But I think that I, I, if I remember correctly, they might have also been talking about the hard difficulty for the puzzles. But maybe that would have to be a big change for that puzzle to somehow involve knowledge of Shakespeare. Yeah, yeah. Maybe this whole game has a Shakespeare theme, and that's not that's like remember the first. remember the coin puzzle in Silent Hill Two that took us like twenty five minutes to get. Yeah, yeah, I do. I saw. I looked in the comments of that video recently, and someone was like, "Oh, don't you guys know anything of Shakespeare or something?" Like somehow that was also Shakespeare. I think. I thought that that whole game was Alice in Wonderland. What? Yeah. No. No. Wasn't one of them Alice in Wonderland? No, there was an Alice in Wonderland puzzle in the first Silent Hill. But there was also like a Wizard of Oz puzzle as well. Oh, no. I thought that there were like a ton of references to Alice in Wonderland in one of the two. I don't think so. I can't. I like the two games. Kind uh... of fair is foul and foul is fair. Put these books out, out of, of order. order. Oh, wait. That's... <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Put them out of order? We didn't actually bother to memorize the number, did we? Eight. Eight, seven. 
four, uh, two, two, three. No, I can't remember. Eight, seven, nine, two, three. <laughs> Let's just go back and look. Fuck us. I said it, being like, I'll say it, and then Kyle will remember. We're such shitheads. Don't trust me to remember eight, anything. Three, eight, three, seven, seven nine. nine. There was no two. Just the top of the three looks like a two. Yeah, the way you had it arranged before, one of them was a two. Yeah. So clearly, we're experts in Shakespeare. Yeah. No one could dispute that. Yeah, I th- I've only really read. I read whoop, whoop. Romeo and Juliet, Tragedy of Julius Caesar, um, a bunch of sonnets, oh. Hamlet. <gasps> um, hey, wait, what's going on? Where is everybody? Those weird monsters? They have come to witness the beginning the rebirth of paradise, despoiled by mankind. Hmm. What are you talking about? Right? Don't you know? Your power is needed. How should I know? I'm sure she's like... I am Claudia. So what? <laughs> Wait, Claudia? I was, I was gonna say she's like the new Dahlia Gillespie. Yeah. It even well. rhymes. Yeah. Clown, also, kind of. that which you must become. The one who will lead us to paradise... With blood-stained hands. Claudio, right? Did you do all this? Get bent. <laughs> it was the hand of God. Great. <laughs> Controller vibration. Okay. Your power is needed, so I'm going to cripple you with noise. <laughs> Every time I look at Voldemort, my scar burns. I don't get so it. hot. Scar burns is my favorite <laughs> character in community. <laughs> oh, that was good. Thanks. There's lots of poems posted on the bulletin board. Notices, schedules. We have a map. Ooh, some didgeridoo. Are you sure? I'm no, I'm not. It might have been a monster, but it sounded like a didgeridoo. Thank no, now it sounds like throat singing. Thank- that could be a didgeridoo. Nah, I think it's I think it's throat singing. Probably. Oh, let's go to the fourth floor. All right. You remember from Silent Hill One that was yeah, like yeah, the death yeah. floor, secret secret yeah. floor. Oh, my dog's being a fucking asshole right now. Yeah, she's like, oh. she's giving me like the. He's like, you haven't pet me in a long time, look. I'm playing this game. This is the neediest dog in the whole world. Oh, it's just taking me somewhere, like, on its own. Like, Remember the fucking game show from... Oh, I forgot about this. Quick turn, that's important. Oh, hey! I knew something was missing. I forgot all about this. Okay, I'll pet you. Oh my god. Okay, anyways. Dog is still staring at me. Alright, now she's leaving. Go lie down in the corner. We're in the inverted mall. This mall's upside down. Whoa, what the f- Is this a dream? What was that? Show it again. Is Pyramid head in this game? No. I'm almost positive that he is not. So Pyramid head is like this weird mask. 
Pyramid Head, I feel like he's this weird mascot for the Silent Hill games, but he's only in one game. Well, that's the thing is that he's really only supposed to be in Silent Hill 2, but he's like this really recognizable character from that game. Yeah. So I think it's more like a... Holy shit. Oh my god. There's another one in front of you. Ugh. So I think it, it's more like... um, It's a big thing where I think at some point... When, uh, when Team Silent was no longer making the Silent Hill games, they were like, well, we gotta put Pyramid Head in this game because that's what people know about Silent Hill. They know Pyramid Head. You missed the door back there, by the way. I'm sure I did. Like, do you remember we... This is just some horrible guessing game. Ugh. Guess for your life. I love that game. Guess for your life? Yeah. Are you serious right now? Look at your map. Yay! Nice. Check your health. I don't... This might be one of those things where, like, uh... It was kind of like that in the hospital in Silent Hill 1, where it was, like, the whole mall is normal, but, like, this back part here is... other world. Inverted. That's what we call it. We call it inverted world. Because before we knew what it was called, we, had we to call called it something. inverted. Oh, it's an ampule. An ampule? No, Keith, it's pronounced ampule. That's the main pronunciation. An ampule, I think, is the... It's like so familiar, you know? Do you think that a lot of the story from the game is going to come from her thoughts on the save thing? Maybe? I don't know. I don't think a lot of the story, maybe a little or bit. Or maybe a lot of context for stuff. I don't know. It seems like, uh, at this point, it seems her relationship to that, that sign seems more important than the, the detective. More important than the detective? Yeah, the detective. That's trying to tell her about her birth. Yeah. Well, maybe. Ew. What are you guys doing over there? You're just making That's water fucking noises. gross. Yeah, it's super gross. God, they're nasty. Y'all's nasty. <laughs> mm -mm. Yeah, two subway. Hmm. There's a subway in this mall. Telephone. Call your dad. You know what? We should really call our dad right now. That's probably... Oh! You got here fast. Whoa! You too. Hello? <laughs> Operator? <laughs> Why would they put it there if it was gone? Because it's a mall for the map. I mean, it's a... <laughs> we all know what I was trying to say. Buy malls for malls. <laughs> <laughs> Warning, when leaving the room, be sure to turn out the lights. It will be obvious if they are not switched off. That's weird. It was on when you walked in. I'll be really, really happy if I leave this bathroom and I'm, I'm on a different floor. That's all I want. I just want, I just want things to be weird, guys. I really liked when Silent Hill did weird things, and Silent Hill 2 didn't do as many weird things. Oh. Silent Hill 2, the only weird thing yeah. in Silent Hill 2 is the uh, elevator game show. Let me guess. And that seemed kind of shoehorned. I'm in a, I'm in a different... Yeah, what was that? It was super weird. 
There was like never any context given for that. No. Let's uh I'm assuming that if I turn off the light that what? Oh. Ta da! It will be obvious. I forgot about this thing too. That's helpful. Yeah. You turn it on and leave. Maybe something happens. No. You don't know. I like that the um, radio static seems to actually sound like radio static now. Yeah, it's and not, not like, like like just white noise. Yeah, or not like a. I guess it was sweet hell. bleach. Now the only thing you need to get out of this hellhole is Shh. ammonia. Oh. Huh. Weird. Oh god! Oh god! Look at it. She did look like she was creeping there. That was pretty convincing. Go over there. There's nothing. Gross. That is gross. Silent Hill 3, you nasty. I kind of miss, like, things that James would say about stuff like if he was if he was in the toilet he would go like who would leave this like that no you're talking about harry harry well they would both do it well they're no nah, harry was way worse about it Her yeah harry's was way better <laughs> i was like harry was way worse you're like yeah he's way better. <laughs> well clear, he was worse about have... it making it better yeah also when i started the sentence i couldn't remember which one was harry and which one was james so Who would leave a toilet like that? We should also be on the lookout for uh, uh, symbolism in the imagery. Oh, oh teeth. Yeah. No. 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 Oh, no. Okay. So I think I was here before in the regular mall, or was that at a different floor? Yeah, okay. So this is totally inverted mall because well, it doesn't. All through it through. Through and through, through. Hey, you missed Dollars the to back, donuts. Back there. Yeah, I see that. Soup to nuts. Soup to nuts. This is just a, a whole different goddamn mall. Soup to these nuts. Go to the, go to the you know what? thing. I, I'm starting to give up on uh, my thing about spelling donuts the correct way. No, I'm, I'm still not. It's D O U G H. The thing -U -T -S. is, yeah, it's like I've just started to realize that the, I have started to feel like I am literally the last person on earth that spells it the correct way. Because I see it even in like official things, like Duncan, like. <laughs> <laughs> But like even like I don't America runs on the incorrect spelling of donuts. <laughs> America runs on the incorrect spelling of donuts. That's true. Oh. Uh, if you don't live in uh, you know New England, there's a chain of donut and coffee places called Dunkin' Donuts, and they spell donuts incorrectly. And their slogan is "America runs on Dunkin'." Oh, I got a bulletproof vest. Can I equip it? Yeah, you can. You get some armor. Damn. God damn. That's pretty good. I don't know if it actually helps because there's not a lot of things shooting bullets in Silent Hill. I will never give up on D O U G H N U T S. I will never give up on Here's... Reese's Pieces. Oh God. Nicole says Reese's Pieces, which Reese... is bet which is better than Reese's Pieces. Yes. Which is totally wrong. Totally wrong. But you're inventing a word to keep Reese's Reese's. I was like, I was like, you know that's wrong, right? She's like, I just like the way it sounds better. And I was like. Oh. Which is bullshit anyways, because Reese's Pieces rhymes. Yeah. How can Reese's Pieces sound better to you? I don't know. I think I'm... I forget about the box right now. It's just that that's how the spellings for words change, is when everyone keeps spelling it different until it's just a thing, until it's just official. Uh-huh. And I feel like Donut is basically at that point. 
I'm gonna keep spelling it the way that it's meant to be, cause it's D O N U T, done it. That word is done it. It is, yeah. That's done it. That's just that's just done it. That's one of the reindeers. Comet Cupid, Don it, Blitzen. I'm not. It's just both. Like you're playing Bananagrams, and you spell donut D O N U T, and then later on you get a G and an H. Like just lengthen that shit. I don't right? really know how to play banana. I've never played Bananagrams. I love the name. I love the name Bananagrams. It's like um, it's like Scrabble. Where you, no just, board. you just get a bunch of letters and you just have to make your own Scrabble board. Um, but you don't have to keep the words that are there. Like, the only rule is just that, like, you keep getting more tiles as the game progresses and you just need to use all the tiles. That sounds pretty great. It is pretty great. And the package is in, in a little banana. My, uh, yeah, it's pretty great. Little zipper to banana. Uh, my controller was vibrating, so I went to get a health drink, but I'm still yellow, so no. So what are you up to in this game? Uh, can I can I say something about this is can I talk about the Mario videos real quick? Just real quick. Oh, uh, hold on. Okay. Because we're talking about pronunciations of words. We were talking in a Mario videos about the pronunciation of Mario, which is pronounced Mario, uh, although some people pronounce it Mario. Yeah, because they're crazy. Uh, and P we, there's just like a long discussion about how people pronounce it. But it's like, it just is Mario. That's how he says his name. He says, it's a me Mario. It, it's, a, it's a me Mario. Yeah, he does It's a me Mario. Like, you can hear him not say it that way. So it's not even a discussion to be had. It's just a bunch of people that refuse to pronounce Mario's name the way that Mario himself asks you to pronounce well, it. Well, I think, I think at this point, everyone that doesn't pronounce Mario the correct way is in that weird boat where they're like, listen, I know that it's not right, but I just thought that when I yeah. was six, and I'm not changing now. It's like, like okay. when I first read the Harry Potter, the first Harry Potter book, I thought her name was, like, Hermione. Of course you did. Everyone did. Everyone thought it was Hermione. I don't still call her Hermione because I got in the habit. <laughs> I, saw, I saw the movie, and they called her Hermione, so I was like, nah, that's weird. It's Hermione and Dobby, not Hermione and Dobie. You thought it was Dobie? There's two B's in that shit. There's two B's in that shit. Yeah, well, it looks a lot like Dolby. There's two B's in that shit. No legs to stand on. It, well, the leg to stand on was that when I read that book, I was six. No legs. Oh, there's a health drink. Wait.